Good morning, friends, and welcome to the free market view. US markets uh, were uh, mixed. Dow was down about uh, 0.10 odd percent. Uh, Nasdaq was up about 0.2 odd percent. Uh, no major data points, but the November job report is something that the market is keenly watching out for to see the action on the rate hike front that the market is looking at. European markets uh, were uh, weak, uh, they were down anywhere from 0.2 to almost about 0.3% and when we look at the Asian markets today morning, uh, Nikkei is down about 0.35% uh, percent. Uh, Shanghai is marginally up uh, and the Hang Seng is also marginally uh, positive. Uh, after weakness uh, in the Chinese markets on Friday, uh, the markets are keenly watching out for the data and the events unfolding from China which could actually uh, decide uh, eventually the rate hike in US and that would be definitely have a lot of uh, importance or significance for the markets globally. Our own markets have uh, showed a lot of resilience uh, on uh, Friday with the markets going up about uh, 55 to 60 points uh, nifty and uh, there is definitely a positive filler because of the kind of uh, talks which are going on between the government and the Congress or the GST front. <clears throat> so if we have some positive outcome, definitely it would be a sentiment booster. In terms of flows, FIs were net sellers in the cash market to the tune of about 519 crore. Uh, in the index futures, they were buyers to the tune of about 900 crore. And uh, the domestic institutions were buyers in the cash market to the tune of about 300 odd crore. So the overall momentum is definitely a little positive. Uh, but one will have to keep a uh, watch on what really happens on the global markets. On that note, let me invite uh, our FNO expert to take you through important uh, data and strategies that we can have from the derivative side. Good morning, friends. I will give analysis on derivatives. Uh, in Friday's trading session, uh, it was the first day of the December series. We have seen Nifty starting on a flattish to positive note. And thereon, uh, we have seen Nifty constantly moving in the positive territory and constantly moving on the northward direction and the market breadth also remained positive throughout the day as majority of all these sectors closed in the positive territory and Nifty was not only able to go past 7900 but eventually gave a healthy closing of around a half a percentage higher at 7972 on the open interest terms, uh, we have seen 0.23 percentage uh, was added in open interest that is around 40, uh, 45, 46,000 shares were added in open interest. Cost of carry did decline as we uh, we did started this uh, December series with a very huge cost of carry that is very huge premium of 45, 46 odd points and which eventually decreased to 28 points in uh, Friday's trade and cost of carry did came down from 6 percentage to 4 percentage while uh, put call ratio was an interesting observation on the put call ratio uh, which uh, saw a significant amount of jump. Remember we did told that we have been starting this series with very low put call ratio and as uh, the put call ratio is on the lower side in derivative terms we do indicate the market is in the oversold, oversold territory. So majority of the, uh, uh, majority of the uh, activity which was been taken place in the Friday's trade was on the short covering side. We have seen a lot of uh, stocks and also index are showing good amount of short covering in Friday's trading session. Coming back to put call ratio which uh, did, decrease, uh, did increase by around 8 odd basis point from 0 0.83 to 0 0.91 indicating a significant amount of addition was observed in put option and uh, we do see a put option have seen a significant amount of addition simultaneously call option have also seen an addition but comparatively very less compared to the put option. Uh, volatility index was more or less same at 16.73 levels it just uh, increased by 4 basis point from 16.69 to 16.73. Now the options activity, not much of activity in at the mini and slightly out of the mini strike price in the call option. The uh, significant amount of addition was seen in, uh, in very out of the mini option of 8300 call option which saw an addition of around 25 odd percentage while 8000, 8100, 8200 has seen minor uh, addition of around uh, 10 to 11 odd percentage in Friday trade while interesting observation was on the put option where uh, an at the money option and also slightly out of the money option have seen huge pile up of open interest indicating good amount of uh, support can be expected at the lower levels. 7900 has seen a significant amount of addition of around 28 odd percentage while 7800 put option have seen an addition of 23 percentage while uh, 7500 put option which is the highest in terms of open interest with around 47 lectures in it 
as seen in addition of around 7 odd percentage. So we have seen in pile up of addition input option which is a positive sign 7900-7890 could act as a crucial support for our market. So if it in case market dips uh, uh, from uh, uh, in, in today's trading session, then it's a good opportunity to create long uh, around 7,900 order levels. There are no securities in bank period for today's trade. On FIS terms, uh, index futures, they were net bias by 302 odd crews. Open interest of FIS and index futures did went up by around 2 to 3 odd percentage, indicating some kind of a long accumulation was observed by FIS in, yesterday, in Friday's trading session. Index options, they were net bias by uh, 2,734 crores. They've created a mixed kind of in positions. They have bo bought both call and put in, uh, in Friday's trade. So uh, it's mainly due to the hedging of uh, uh, hedging against its uh, long index futures for buying it uh, uh, put option, while call option is the sign where uh, is a positive sign for our market. Stock futures, uh, they were net buyers by 350 odd crores and stock options, they were net buyers by 144 crores. So all in all, they were net buyers in all of the segments in Friday's trading session. Our market level of Friday's view stands at 7890. As I suggested, 7890, 7900 is a crucial level to watch out for. And it's also a VWAP level, so anywhere around 7900, uh, market participant can create uh, some kind of a log position, keeping a strict stop loss of 7875, uh, 7870, which is our lower range and the higher range is around 8050. ASX Nifty is trading uh, a bit on the negative side, it's down by 19 odd points at uh, 7946.50 indicating some kind of a negative opening can be expected in morning trade. That's it from derivatives, thank you. Friends, uh, let me take you through share card pre-market action starting with trading ideas. First of all, a long call on Bajaj Electrical as the government uh, in West Bengal is going to give all the households uh, four energy efficient LED bulbs and that's a positive for the LED bulb manufacturers like Surya Roshni, Evels and Bajaj Electrical. So one can go long on Bajaj Electrical with a stock loss of 218 and a target of about 230 to about 235. Uh, some negative uh, news for the cement manufacturers as the Union uh, Road Minister Nitin Gadkari has said that the cartelization is seen in the cement industry. So that's a bit of a negative for Ultratech. So one can go short on that one with the stop loss of 2870 and a target for about 2790 to about 2760. And Mtech Auto, the quarterly numbers have been quite uh, weak and they have suffered a loss of about uh, 987 crore on a consolidated basis uh, versus the profit of 848 crore. So one can short Mtech Auto with a stop loss of 44 target of about 41 to about 40. In other news and development, GDP data for uh, the second quarter of FI16 is going to be announced today and as per the consensus estimates, the number is likely to be about 7.3% versus about 7% on a quarter on quarter basis. And uh, for CIPLA, there is a setback as the Delhi High Court has held that the CIPLA has infringed the uh, patent in a lung cancer drug uh, called Elotinib, uh, which is sold under the name Tatseva. Uh, CIPLA Inc's investment pact with FIR, FIR Investments and uh, there is a relief for Adani Power in additional SEZ uh, tax case. Uh, IVRCL is uh, likely to hold a board meeting next week to discuss the possible being major of property developments and EPC business into a separate entity as it seeks to restructure its business operations. Uh, so watch out for something on IDRC and Yes Bank invokes United Breweries shares worth about 778 crore and Wellspun Group is uh, looking to sell its renewable energy business uh, and appoints Barclays to look out for a buyer. Mirani Industries gets members not for scheme of a merger of Mirani Metals with the company. Palaji Telefilms uh, is in talks with global financial firms and P for digital business take sale which is expected to seal in the next about four to six weeks time. Nestle India lends into another trouble as uh, UP Lab finds its uh, pasta product to be unsafe for consumption and PVR is looking to add about 23 screens which will take the total screen size to about 500 this fiscal. Lenders to take control of Monet is Bath uh, and will have about 51% stake. Thomas Cook is going to raise about 125 crore to power finance the acquisition of the QONI India. Delhi High Court turns down Bayer's plea against Dr. Reddy's lab's anti-stroke pill and Colgate India has uh, declared second interim dividend of Rs. 3 per share for the financial year. Uh, company declared 
first interim dividend of rupees four per share. Fortis uh, is going to buy Relingair's uh, uh, health trust for about fifteen million dollars. Novartis is looking to consider selling Contract Lens Care division. Um, they're looking to sell that one. Imami to hike uh, big board investment to about two thousand crore in three years. And Reliance Industries uh, faces forty percent cut in the marketing margin on KG D6 uh, gas. List of stocks with positive or negative bias for the day traders. Stocks with positive bias are Kerala and TBS Motors. Stocks with negative bias are C8 and UPL. Stocks with investment that we like at this point of time are Aditya Villa, Nupo, Britannia, Maruti HFC Bank, and Z Limited. That's it from all of us, friends. Have a good trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.